Hi, this is Alex Paul with Open Systems Media and Embedded Computing, and I'm here at the Things Conference in Amsterdam. Today with Xavier Bignale, he's with uh, Microchip. Well, you guys are on a roll, right? You just bought MicroSemi, you're rolling very large right now. Yes, doing pretty well for us, yeah. Well, so, you're a growing company, you've got a lot going on. Microchip has always been known for, for kits and for development kits and for really helping developers create new solutions. How does it dial in with LoRa? So LoRa, we've been uh, we've been involved with the LoRa Alliance since since the beginning. Really, um, started a few years ago with the RN2903 for uh, the US and the 2483 for Europe, and we grow a whole ecosystem of radios for to address basically all the different countries in the world. Uh, fast forwarding a little bit until uh, last November uh, in 2018, we released the SAM R34. That is basically a system in package that integrates uh, an M0 with the Semtech radio in a single package. And now we are, what, just two months after that date. We've just announced this morning at the, the, the Things um, Industry Conference uh, a secure element uh, specifically for TTI. Well, I mean, been... security is key. Mm -hmm. It's the whole, I mean, that's the big uh, boogeyman, as it were, <laughs> but it's also a real concern. Yes, exactly, exactly, yeah. It, it's um, the biggest enemy of security, it's complexity, right? And complexity generates fear. Fear generates reluctance to implement something, right? And that's really the, the whole starting point. So what we've done today with, uh, with TTI, they came and see us a few, uh, few months ago, and they laid out the whole complexity problem from uh, a logistic standpoint, at the global scale, and how keys were exposed in the whole environment, really. So, hey, we think we have a solution, and we told them, yes, yeah, so I think we have the other side of the solution. And that's how we came up with this concept of having a secure element attached with the TTI service. Now you have a service that's handling security, secure authentication, I should say, rather, uh, between the hardware and the backend service for the lower one. Very nice. Now. Um, this SOC, is it a part of a family or is it configurable? How do you have it address different application spaces? So the SOC is really handling the, the wireless communication and the uh, and integrates the microcontroller. The secure element is actually a companion device to the microcontrollers. So it is extremely flexible by coming with a library that has a hardware abstraction layers that makes it completely agnostic of, of the rest of the hardware, really. Mm -hmm. Now, I've been asking everybody this when I ask you. Uh, what are the application spaces you're seeing that you're really gaining traction in? So, at Microchip, we don't want to try to target one application, but try to have a more of a mass market approach. So really, it's all over the spectrum. Uh, you could go from smart agriculture to small building, factories, uh, medical even. Uh, it's, it's really all over. So, um, seeing this, what exactly is this that you brought here? Well, this is actually the, the SAM R34, R34 SIP right here. That is that little um, shielded piece of, of, of device right there. And where you plug the antenna at the top. So we have our development tools already available. Just have to plug on the side the socketed board for the secure element. That I didn't bring with me today. <laughs> but uh, that's where you start. Very nice. Now, a lot of this stuff is plug and play. Mm -hmm. But it's always nice to have engineering support. What kind of support do you offer people that want to help uh, dial your solution into theirs? There, there, there are two ways to, uh, well, Normally, what we've achieved today with TTI is it's pretty simple, where all the handling of the keys is completely taken care of by the back end of both of our companies. So the process goes as such. You buy a device, you get the device with a file, load it into the back end of TTI, claim it, and that's it. Now you can start focusing on the, on the application side. So you shouldn't need too much support from us, if at all. That was the, the, the whole goal. If not, Microchip is equipped with um, experts in wireless, in security, all across the globe for direct supports. If not, you can use our channel partner, distributors, or we have something called the design, channel, design partner program where we vet um, a whole selection of design houses, system integrators that could be recommended to customers to fast track their design cycle. Very cool, Xavier. Now, was there anything that like surprised you? You, you have people coming to you all the time asking for solutions, asking for kits. Did anybody come to you with something you're like, wow, I never heard that before? Yeah, honestly, what, uh, what, what strikes me, I've been messing around with the IT industry for the past four years already. It's still the, 
the passion, really, especially in this conference, really being such a, you know, disruptive, risky technology, you can say that, right? It's being questioned all the time. It's still the passion of the crowd here at this conference, the motivation, which, which kind of confirmed the will for, of the, of, for the adoption of that technology in the, for the next few years. Very nice. Now, so uh, they can go to microchip.com, obviously. To, yeah, is microchip.com. There a, is there a deep drill page? Is there a landing page for? A few of them, and you could go for the wireless side, you do microchip.com slash security. Oh, I'm sorry, slash wireless. For the security, you'll do microchip.com slash security. And uh, those would be good starting points. Very nice. Xavier, thank you so much for taking Thanks, the time Alex. to come talk to us. I really appreciate it. Thank you.